In this video, I want to have a look at time differences and how that relates to longitude. So we know that one revolution of the Earth, so a full 360 degree turn, takes one day, it takes 24 hours. Knowing that, we can figure out how far it turns in um, one hour. So we know it takes 360 degrees and it takes 24 hours to turn that. So that means that one hour it will turn 15 degrees. We can also then figure out how long it will take to turn one degree. So we've got 60 minutes divided by 15 degrees would give us four minutes. So there's four minutes, every four minutes, the Earth will rotate one degree. So local times around the world are measured in relation to this prime meridian. So the time at the prime meridian along that line of longitude is called Greenwich Mean Time or Coordinated Universal Time. So GMT or UCT. So anywhere to the east of the UCT, so east, sorry, east of the prime meridian, is ahead of universal time. And anywhere to the west is behind UCT. So places over here get the day first. So places like New Zealand um, and Australia get the day early. And places over here like America get the day later. So we know in reality that even though theoretically every one degree takes four minutes so that places that are one degree apart in longitude would theoretically be four minutes apart in their local times we know that that's not how it works in reality in reality we have time zones and that one single time zone can t cover a really wide um, range of longitudes but in this video we're going to look at it all theoretically so if two places were one degree apart, they'd be four minutes difference in their times. All right, so let's have a look at a couple of problems. Our first one says Auckland is located at 37 degrees south and 175 degrees east, and Wollongong is located at 34 degrees south and 150 degrees east. And we want to, for part A, calculate the time difference between the two places. So for these, latitude doesn't matter. If two places were on the same longitude, they would have the same time. And the difference in longitude is what's going to tell us the difference in time. So it's usually helpful to draw yourself just a little diagram for these things of our two places. So if Auckland is 175 degrees east and Wollongong is 150 degrees east, that means that Auckland is further east. So we're going to put Auckland at this one because it's 175 degrees east and Wollongong over here at 150 degrees east. Okay, so for part A, the first thing we need to do is figure out the difference in longitude. So we'd go 175 minus 150 would give us 25 degrees. So there's a 25 degree difference in longitude, and we know that every one degree is four minutes. So we're gonna go 25 times four, tells us that there is a 100 minute time difference, theoretically, between Auckland and Wollongong. Um, if we change that then to hours and minutes, we have one hour and 40 minutes. So there's a one hour and 40 minute time difference. Part B then says, what is the time in Auckland if it's 2 p.m. in Wollongong? So Auckland gets the day first, which means that by the time it's 2 p.m. in Wollongong, it's actually later in Auckland. So if we're going from Wollongong time to Auckland time, we're gonna to have to add that one hour and 40 minutes that we just found. So 2 p.m. plus an hour and 40 minutes would give us 3.40 p.m. So 2 p.m. in Wollongong is 3.40 p.m. in Auckland. Part C asks us what is the time in Wollongong if it's 9am in Auckland. So that means because Wollongong gets the day later, it's 9am in Auckland means it's going to be earlier in Wollongong. So we're going to have to subtract that one hour and 40 minutes this time. So we're going 9am minus one hour and 40 minutes is going to give us 7.20am. So when it's 9 a.m. in Auckland, it's only 7.20 a.m. in Wollongong. For our second example, it says San Francisco has a longitude of 122 degrees west and New York has a longitude of 74 degrees west. 
part A is very similar to what we did in our last example. It just says, what is the time difference between the two places? So again, I'd recommend starting just by drawing yourself a really quick diagram. Now, San Francisco is 122 degrees west. New York is only 74 degrees west. So that means San Francisco is going to be here and New York is going to be on this one. So that's 74 degrees west and 122 degrees west. So to find the time difference, we need the difference in longitude. So 122 minus 74 would give us 48 degrees difference. And every one degree is four minutes. So 48 times four would give us 192 minutes, which is equivalent to three hours and 12 minutes difference between San Francisco and New York, theoretically. So part B says, what is the time in San Francisco if it's 4 p.m. in New York? So it's 4 p.m. over here in New York. New York, because it's further east, is going to get the day first, which means it's going to be earlier in San Francisco. So because we're moving west, we're going to have to subtract that three hours and 12 minutes. So because we're in p.m., let's put this in 24-hour time. So let's say we're going 1600, and we're going to minus three hours and 20 minutes, sorry, 12 minutes, not 20. Um, so you can write that in your calculator as 16 degrees minus three degrees and 12 minutes, because that'll read it as hours and minutes. And that will leave you with 1248. So 12 degrees, 48 minutes. So 1248 p.m. All right, our last one, question C says, a flight to New York leaves San Francisco at 11.30. What, local, what is the local time when the plane lands in New York if the plane is in the, hour, in the air for five and a half hours? So the first thing I would do is just figure out what the time is in San Francisco when that plane lands in New York. And that's just going our 11.30 plus five and a half hours. So 11.30 plus five and a half would give us 5 p.m. So when that plane lands in New York, it's 5 p.m. in San Francisco. And then we need to convert San Francisco time to New York time. So because we're going this way, we're going further east, we're going to add that 3 hours and 12 minutes. So 5 p.m. plus 3 hours and 12 minutes will give us 8.12 p.m. So when that plane lands, it is 8.12 p.m. So that's just a look at how time differences theoretically work in relation to longitude.